Before placing the SpO2 module on the patient, choose which attachment you would like to use. There are reusable clips and disposable grips. If you decide to use the disposable grip, be sure to select the appropriate size. There is a neonate and adult disposable grip, as well as infant and pediatric. Tip. Disposable grips tend to work better on patients that tend to move. It is very secure. After you have selected which attachment is best for your patient, attach it to the SpO2 probe. When changing out the attachments, be careful not to pull from the fiber optic part of the SpO2 probe. It is fragile and will break over time if continuously pulled. To change out the attachments, pull from the hard plastic end and pull straight out. Then you will be able to snap in the attachment you have chosen. Tips. The SpO2 attachment goes on any finger you choose. Make sure the clip or disposable grip is secure. For the neonate, this can wrap around their foot or toe. Make sure you do not wrap too tightly and always check circulation. After you place the clip on the patient, cover the SpO2 clip with an opaque blanket to keep ambient light from affecting the reading. Ambient light, attachment movement, or electromagnetic interference can lead to inaccuracies of the SpO2 reading. To ensure SpO2 accuracy, make sure the probe is applied to the patient correctly. Tips. Place the module on a cushioned surface, such as a blanket or towel, to minimize MR scanner vibrations. When storing the module after the case, make sure to store it downwards where the probe is hanging. Storing it upwards will stress the probe and eventually break it. Mm -hmm.